Hello, we are looking at Republican motherhood and we're trying to figure out what this means. And so first, as I said in the text above the images, this is something that historians coined. People at the time weren't walking around saying, oh, I'm a Republican mother. But uh, historians look at sermons, they look at letters, they look at images like I put here in the lecture, and the way that women are written about or depicted, uh, historians coined that phrase, Republican mother. And as you saw above, women aren't going to get access to you know, the vote, at least you know, there's a few decades they're going to have it in New Jersey, but otherwise they don't get access to the vote. They're not going to get ownership of their property, but this uh, concept of Republican motherhood is going to have some important consequences. So first, I've given you three images here, and the thing that you want to think about, again, is how are women represented in these images? So you might notice right away um, there aren't men in these images. And the first image, she's surrounded by her children. She's kind of enveloping them. They're, they're well-behaved. They're close to her. Um, it's uh, indicated here that these are her sons. In the second image, uh, this one is kind of more symbolic. Uh, the woman is holding a cup and feeding it to uh, an eagle, sort of representing the idea that uh, a liberty provides sustenance. Women as liberty provides sustenance to, to the new nation. And then in the last image you have there, that is an early abolitionist piece. It's incredibly patronizing, but it does highlight one of the key consequences of Republican motherhood, because you might notice she's surrounded by it. Like there's a globe, she's got some books, she's actually kind of handing out a book. And so this is the aha ha of Republican motherhood is the, the idea here is that women are providing direction and sustenance for the new nation. And the way they can do that is as mothers. As mothers, women can raise their sons to be good Republican citizens. And so you kind of see each of those ideas in those three images. The first image you have her surrounded by sons. The second image, Liberty is, you know, dispensing not, you know, sustenance, but maybe knowledge and, you know, the form of like nourishment to the new nation represented as an eagle. And then uh, there finally, um, the only way she can do this, the only way that a woman could um, succeed in raising her sons to be good citizens in the new republic is if she herself has an education. And so, you know, initially when you hear about Republican mother motherhood, you probably think, well, big deal, right? We're, we We've seen women as mothers before, but the big deal is it's being acknowledged, it's being recognized, it's being praised in, in images and in songs and sermons and letters. And then the really big deal is it's going to be the justification to give women an education. It's not They're not going to get the education that their brothers are getting, um, but some education is better than no education. And it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be that foot in the door. It's going to be like that stepping stone. All right. Uh, you've got a link there that also kind of helps explain Republican motherhood a little bit further in terms of some of the implications. So go ahead and check that out. And then if you have any questions, you know, be sure and email those to me or put them in our um, class discussion board that stays up all semester. Take care.